but the Ganges festival, that is vitally important to them. London's horribly cold weather entirely failed to deter film fans from crowding Leicester Square to see the stars arrive for the British Film Festival. It was a brilliant send-off to this year's Daily Mail National Film Award and Mr and the Honourable Mrs Cooper Key received the guests, of whom Jack Warner was one. I also had the pleasure of being there and meeting many friends in the film world, including the irrepressible Tessie O'Shea. Well, I must say, it's nice to say that the cold spell doesn't affect you, Tessie. All, all wrapped up in somewhere to go, eh? Don't ask me to take this off, Why Lionel. Not? I've got the curlers in. Richard Attenborough and his wife Sheila Sim were two more guests, and there was appropriately a brief encounter between Celia Johnson, Trevor Howard and David Lean. When we are shooting a film on the studio floor, the film actor's always complaining that he hasn't got a live audience to play to. Well, that, this afternoon, you, you two are going to play to thousands. What's it like? Pretty frightening. <laughs> well, I, I, I love them. But um, I'm frightened to death of newsreel cameras. And I think the briefer in the encounter, the better. The Lord Chancellor and Lady Jowett arriving to enjoy the festival with its flashbacks to outstanding British films of 1946. Stanley Maxted meets Major Maguire, an old friend from Arnhem. Poor Major, when did this happen? Oh, just after we finished the film. Oh, this is the glory, yes. There go the crew. Three, four... It, it must be the pilot that's staying in. She's nosing downward now. It, it is the pilot that's staying in. He's sending that plane right down the tracer screen. He's, he's going to crash that, that aircraft right onto the German guns that are firing at him now. Anna Neagle and Michael Wilding recall a scene from Piccadilly Incident. Uh, do you always fill the lady up with champagne on the honeymoon? Always. Does it always go to their heads? <laughs> always. I think we'll talk too much about things going to heads in case the ceiling falls in again. <laughs> Did I look as scared as I felt? You look terrified. A reminder of The Wicked Lady by Patricia Rock and Margaret Lockwood. I'm sick of hearing the same family prayers morning after morning, of sitting in the skeleton pew every Sunday. Most of all, I'm sick of Ralph. Oh, you mean you don't love him anymore? I never have. Many stars, in fact, reminded us of favourite films. Voting for the awards has now begun. Have you voted yet? The Kremlin was only one of the